Hello everyone and welcome back to another Corin household video with me, Little Miss Zimmer. So we're currently um, having a cookie because, um, what's her face, I've forgotten her freaking name, um, Krista just gave birth to a baby. So, um, I'm not so pretty Sim. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, <laughs> uh what was i gonna say yes 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 so you guys need catching up because a lot has happened since the last time um well the first time i did a video on these girls so um i'm not gonna explain that bit if you want to find out like from the beginning go and watch the first video i'll link it down below of course and i'll put a little card um on the video somewhere um but yeah, so basically since then, because it's such a long story, I just can't be asked to explain it all. Um, <laughs> I'm lazy, sorry guys. Um, but basically, since then, you know, everything was going well. And then Krista met a mad scientist called Harvey Washburn. Um, she was just walking around Windenburg one day. She was doing some exploring in the sim world, you know, because she is an alien, if you can't tell, because she's gro glowing, yeah. Um, I was <laughs> nearly said growing then. Um, yeah, she is an alien sim, but she never really wears her alien, you know, self. She always wears her disguise, and I often forget she's an alien because she never takes her disguise off, and that's kind of a deal that she made with... Ren, because Ren wasn't really comfortable having an alien around, she said, well, if I can't tell you're an alien, then it doesn't bother me. So she just kind of keeps the peace and tries not to freak everyone out by, you know, keeping her disguise on. Um, but yeah, so she was wandering around Rindenburg doing some exploring. She went to a coffee shop and um, she just sat down. You know, she doesn't really know social conventions and, she, you know, Ren was at a meeting in a coffee shop and she just sat down at the table and he just sort of looked at her like... What, what are you doing i don't know you and because she didn't really get that it wasn't really you know the normal thing to do just sit with a bunch of strangers at a coffee shop table and, and just sit there like you know them <laughs> and um but in the end they kind of got talking um and you know he because he is a scientist and he's been studying aliens he knew she was an alien but he she didn't know that he knew she didn't tell him because you know she doesn't really want to freak people out so she didn't say anything and you know she couldn't tell she was glowing with um um flirtation she was like pink and she was glowing because she was flirting with him and she really liked him she really liked him as a sim and um he really liked her but in the beginning it was very much i don't know like play so they can eat their cookies um in the beginning it was very much because he was studying aliens and because he was level 10 in the scientist career and everything he was very much trying to more, more study her than actually build a relationship with her he was like attracted to her and everything but it was more to get to know her dna and her as an alien and not her as a person um that because you know she didn't have a clue she just really liked him and so she was sort of like this is my human <laughs> and she brought him home to the girls and they sort of they clocked on that he wasn't really interested but she wasn't having any of it she was like no he's mine i really like him this human is mine <laughs> and um he moved in and you know they tried to the girls um ran and Eva tried to stop him from you know probing and trying to take her skin cells and hair follicles and stuff to take back to work with him um you know to stop you know she didn't they didn't really want like a big you know mi5 or whatever scientific bloody company coming down here and like harboring her and doing tests on her and sticking her in a big glass bowl and experimenting on her because that's not what they wanted they just wanted her to have a safe place to stay while she was dumped on earth um well sim earth and um in the end he did kind of fall for her they're together because it is his aspiration so it's kind of like he couldn't help himself he thought oh she's an alien and i should only really be interacting with her f for work but he didn't tell his work colleagues that he'd actually fallen in love with her 
and um, she didn't realize that if she wooed with him like she would with aliens she could get pregnant because she didn't realize that you know human DNA and alien DNA could form and she didn't think that she'd get pregnant so she very naively you know wooed with him on multiple occasions and before she knew it she was pregnant and at first she didn't even realize she just thought you know she was a bit ill or something but no she was pregnant and then yesterday sim yesterday all the baby said um no you're gonna see to your child um yeah and then yesterday sim yesterday so okay basically okay maybe like three out sim hours ago she gave birth to little eva um i've never had a sim alien baby like a, a hybrid um before so i didn't know which one they were going to be born as and, and it makes sense that i guess they're born as an alien and then they kind of look more human i don't know how it works but she is a sim she's half sim and she's half alien um i don't know how it will work when she's a child i don't know if she'll still look more like an alien i don't know it kind of looks odd because she's wearing her disguise so yes. it kind of looks weird that they've made this alien baby but they're kind of hiding it in the house because they can't really put a disguise on a baby so they're sort of just keeping her in the house so no one can find her and he doesn't want anybody at work to find out that he's made a kid with her so that they can take the kid and you know do the same thing to the kid as they were planning to do to her um at the um why does it why is it now telling me that he doesn't have a job when he does <sighs> i'm going to have to fix that my game crashed yesterday while i was playing and it was really annoying because like today i had to catch everything up back to where i was because it was like one in the morning and i was tired i was like oh i'm going to bed now i can't play anymore um yeah he was level 10 and now he's not even got a job so um I guess I'll fix that at the end of this part um, because I don't really want him to go to work anyway but yeah that's basically the dealio so he's kind of like keeping it all a big secret I don't even think his work knows that he's living with her um, as for Ren and Eva, it's kind of um, even though they're really happy for their new friend that they have living with them little Krista they're kind of jealous because you know they can't have their own kid um, you know obviously for obvious reasons and so and it's kind of their dream to have their own kid and they don't really want to adopt you know they want it to be from them from their dna so even though they didn't like the idea of harvey coming in here and did you want to clean that um yeah even though they didn't like the idea of harvey coming in and being a big scientist and a scientist and an alien together and it's kind of a bit dangerous he they thought that they could maybe take advantage of his scientific skills in the hope that maybe in some you know kind of way he could find a way for them to have a child and for it to be from their dna so that's kind of what they're hoping um maybe he could use his cloning machine or something um so yeah he's kind of like they're kind of even though they like him now because he's realized the error of his ways and kind of fallen in love with Krista and everything's kind of going really well he's kind of still a means to an end to them I think um and I think Krista secretly knows that but she's happy still um she's happy with her baby and her little human who she's fallen in love with um we are going to fertilize these with mushrooms I've only got three unfortunately um, so yeah, that's kind of the story that has been playing out. Oh no, we have some more. Um, but yeah, and it's super fun. I really, really enjoyed playing this household. Like, I didn't think that I would. Like, usually when I start a new household, I play it for like a day and then I get bored. But I'm actually really, 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 really enjoying playing this household. And I need to get her a cow plant. She needs to make a cow plant because they're getting old and I don't want them to die. I want them to stay young. Um, for a little bit longer. What's wrong with the baby? Does it need feeding? Is it hungry? Um, 
But yeah, he's kind of been giving her a bit of a break. Because, you know, she's been working super hard. Um, walking around with a big baby bump and she couldn't really do much because she was pregnant. So he's kind of giving her a bit of a break and looking after the baby for now. Well, he's still massively fascinated by the prospect of having an alien child, which I can imagine. I'm going to have him. She made cookies, but I'd kind of rather them have a proper breakfast. So we'll have some scrambled eggs and we'll put the cookies away for now. She's doing her garden. You guys actually really enjoyed this um, last time. I didn't, I didn't think it would, I didn't really, well, I guess I didn't know whether it would really go down that well, but you guys really enjoyed it. You really liked the storyline and I'm glad you like it because I really enjoy it as well. It's a lot of fun. Um, now she has a lot of collectibles. Oh, we have her birth certificate. We can put that up at some point. Um, but I want her to open these and extract these. Um, Mycin trophy, pre 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 sim head, and a fossilized udder. Um, yeah, spe speaking of udders, we need to go and find a cow plant berry. She has 26 upgrade parts. We need to get upgrading, girl. Um, even though I didn't really... Oh, the toilet's broken. Well, there you go. Go and repair that for me. Her needs are really good. When they come out of the hospital, for some reason, they get full needs. Oh, and the fridge is broken. Everything's breaking. I'm upgrading things. And they're still breaking. I don't understand. Right, you go and have a shower. Or a bath. I need to get them a new bed. But there's not many beds. There's literally only one quality bed, and the rest are rubbish. It's really difficult, but this bed matches the room, so I like this bed, but it keeps giving them a bad moodlet. Right, mop that. She does it really quickly. Can we upgrade this? Add a B day. <laughs> we'll have him call to meal. Stop staring at the cereal box. Oh, I love clutter. It's annoying when they stare at it. It's like, can you not stare at that? I'll probably have her upgrade this after breakfast. I think the baby's okay for now. Yeah, she's fine in her little pink bassinets. Come and grab some eggs and bacon and toast. Mm, bacon sounds good right now. Well, you don't need to go in the fridge anyway, Aoife, so just sit down with your food. Or just stand there, okay. But yeah, these two are so cute. I want to get them married. I want them to get married. And I want to have the biggest sim wedding ever. I don't even remember the last time I had sims get married. Probably for a Black Widow part. I think that's the last time. We'll have an inside joke. Um, I'm going to brighten his day. And we will tell him an engaging story. Yes, go and grab some eggs. I don't know what she's doing. She's just wandering around the house. I don't know what you're doing, but there's food on the table, so you can put that down right now. Go and grab eggs right now. Eva, just sit your ass down, please. The Sims can't make their mind up this morning. I think they know they're on camera and they're freaking out. Like, what do I do? There we go. Ren has work in an hour, but I probably won't go to work with her because I can't be honest. I love my sims to have jobs, but at the same time, it takes up so much of the time. Like, they have work pretty much every day, and you can't, like, play the game. It's frustrating. So I have them take a lot of vacation days because I just want to play. But at the same time, we need the money. Um, I'm kind of hoping with a scientist in the house, we can just pretend that he got like 20 grand and kept cloning it and cloning it. He doesn't actually have any, um, when I found him, he was already a scientist, but he didn't have any experiments, not experiments, inventions. So, you know, I couldn't really use them, but it would have been, I can go to work with him and get a few of those and clone some things. Maybe, um, we'll make some really, um, quality 
veggies or fruits or something and we'll keep cloning them and selling them or something and make a whole bunch of money that way but um i feel like we're going to need a bigger house <laughs> um especially if he finds a way to make them a baby um definitely definitely gonna need more rooms and this house is just not gonna is not gonna do the job so i'll probably i might film a build and um put it up on my channel and it can be their new home probably yeah she needs to pee i feel like i should save just in case it crashes because it's being a tiny bit laggy so I'm going to save it real quick because I do not want to lose all my progress. Nah, -uh, no thank you. And the baby is sad. The baby's either sad or sleeping. I can't really tell because the screen is tinted. Bees. I think the baby is sad, so. Sure. Stop eat. No, it's on the line. Stop okay. eating. I'll go upstairs. Oh, I just clicked off the bassinet. Go and change her diaper. I can't wait to see what she looks like as a kid. I don't know when I'll age her up. Um, I'll probably just wait for her birthday to come around. You are not eating that cookie. That cookie is going in the damn bin. Right. I'm going to get her to pee and then I think I'll have her and Krista do some repairing and everything today. So you can come and repair this. You go and pee. Um, you can have a shower if you want, I guess. Oh no, she's going to go and clean it. Okay, good. You can look after the baby and I guess get some sleep because he's kind of tired. He's been looking after Eva. Yeah, and then you can clean this and upgrade things and such. I don't know what her handiness skill is, but I know, um, Chris, not Krista, it's not her name. Krista's is really high because she does a lot of repairing. I'll have her work hard. Go in and clean that. I think with this current household, if you guys are enjoying it so much, I'll probably upload a maybe a part a week if I've been playing, so you guys can um, keep up to date with it. Because I know most people like do it once a month, but if you like it that much, I'll do it like once a week instead. Because I play it a lot um, when I can find the freaking time. Sometimes I feel like just playing The Sims and I don't feel like recording, so I'll just come and I'll play my current household or I'll make a sim or something. Um, let's throw this away. Right, mop up that ginormous puddle, please. That's going under the oven, which is not good. We should probably put some better pajamas on as well. Um, sleepwear three. And well, let's get comfy. We're staying at home today. Let's um, let's get comfy. In our comfy pajama clothes. Right, something needed repairing downstairs. No, cleaning. <laughs> Ew, the toilet's right. Let's clean this. It's disgusting. No. Oh, she's going to. What are you. Oh, she's going to mop another puddle. Oh, okay. I still want you to change into your sleep by three. She's still very happy. She's been very happy for a long time. Right, I'm going to get her to upgrade this. And I'm going to get her... She can't upgrade anything? Do I need to give her some upgrade parts? Probably. These are plumbing upgrade parts. Right, I'll give her one. Um, give her some of these. No, she still can't. Is it because of her skill? No, for some reason she can't. That sucks. I also want to upgrade the hot tub. Because I haven't done that before. No, she can only repair things. She can't upgrade things. Um, we'll put this in the bin because everyone's done eating it. I guess I'll have her finish her book then. because she's still really into writing so I've kind of gone off track with the whole pen pal thing but I'll get back on the bandwagon at some point who is this? ugh she's such a pain in the ass. I'm gonna feed her to my cow plant when I get one she's so annoying she just won't leave us alone we said hello to her once and she just won't go away 
It's like, seriously, please. And f before, she kept knocking on this door and it was so annoying. The amount of times I've had to remind her that this is the front door. She just stands there all day being annoying. All freaking day. Just like, right, I'm going to get her inspired. I have some evocative lemon going. Get all inspired for our book. This is taking a while. I didn't think it took that long. My baby is okay for now. It's not screaming. Um, right, what do we have for collectibles? Um, do we already... What's this? This is peach. This is orange topaz. We can put orange topaz on here. Um, do we already have this purple thing? No. Ah, where did I put that? No idea, it's gone now. I hate when that happens. Um... We have this purple one. We have... We already have this one. Um, we already have him. And uh, we don't need any of these. Oh, we have her birth certificate. I need to put some of these photos up on the wall because we have so many photos. And I'm going to give the repair parts back to Krista because she's not going to need them now because she, for some reason, can't repair things. It's probably because her skill's not high enough. There we go. Alright, I'm up at that. The toilet now has a B day. We can't upgrade this, I don't think. Or maybe it's just not come up yet. No, we can. We can add a soap dispenser. I wonder what his repair skill is like. His is non-existent, he doesn't even have one. Boo! That wouldn't have been helpful. She's like the man of the house doing all the repair work. But then I guess she knows how to do this stuff because she used to upgrade her spaceship all the time, I'm sure. After the demonstration of handiness, Krista is feeling pretty good. <laughs> but she's also pinched her finger. Probably more than once. This gun's going a lot quicker. Baby is asleep. I'm gonna have him cook lots of dinner. He takes lots of pictures. Um, I wonder what his photography skill is. Change the diaper, then, not you. Change the diaper. And give her food. And cuddle her. Because Krista is busy. She's now level six. Woo! Why is she tense? Has she got writer's block? Oh, well. Let's light this again. Maybe this will help. Did she do it? She did. Um, no. I think this is the last thing that I'll upgrade and then. Um, I'll let her do something else. Right, you're not going to watch TV. You're going to go use the toilet and then you're going to go make dinner for everyone. Because all you've done today is sleep. Um, so... No, it's lunchtime still. He just peed. Why is his pee bar not moved? Thank you. She's still there. Seriously, go away. Please go away. Okay, you can stop now. You can go to sleep. Nearly done. There you go. Right, can you come and serve some dinner now, please? We'll have fish tacos today. Fish tacos today. Cuddle her, rock her, talk to her. 
answer. No, we don't want to join the Knight's Hedge, thank you. We are fine, thanks. Ooh, ow. So cute. So purple as well. I wonder if they just come out like the colour like she's obviously a purple alien. So they must come out the colour of the alien that they are, I assume. But there's some like mid colours, like there's lilac and then there's like dark purple. So I guess it depends on the diet as well. Like what we'll quarter meal? I wish they'd quarter meal automatically when you make a group meal, it just makes sense. Right. Who's calling you now? Thank you. She's the one who delivered the baby as well. How cute. Yeah, go and grab some fish tacos. Sit and eat your food. No, don't sit now. Grab your food first. I wonder when Ryan will be home. We'll tell him an unbelievable story and we'll brighten his day. Come and grab some food. Come and grab some fish tacos. Shimagra Gorsai, Flazzle, Zanahoy, Tambra, Abaziric. I wonder if I've never had fish inside tacos. I never really have tacos anyway, but I'd never think to put fish in them. I'd always think like mince meat and veg and stuff. Ooh, Ren's home. I'm sure she's going to be in a terrible mood. And yes, she is. Right. Grab some fish tacos before your head explodes with tenseness. And we'll share a secret with her. And we'll compliment her outfit, even though she's not wearing much. And we will vent to her. Bless her. She needs some flirtation, it seems. Um, we'll flirt with her. Because she is lovelorn from romantic trait. Standing there and staring at her is not going to make you feel better. There we go. Bad mood, bad mood. Whose phone's ringing now? Oh, he's going to kiss her. She is a mess. Come on, girl. Yeah, let's take a vacation day. I think you need one. No, not go on vacation. Does she not have work tomorrow? She doesn't even have work tomorrow. You don't need a vacation day, girl. Ah. Right, do you want to clean up for me, please? What's the next nurture? Lots of very emotions going on. Right, I'm gonna let her go to sleep. The baby is sleeping. I'm gonna have her pee first. And because he's feeling so flirty, we will not be trying for any more babies anytime soon. Maybe sit down and eat your tacos. Maybe you wouldn't feel so tense if you sat down. He's washing everything up. It's her phone. No. Just walked in on her in the toilet like, let's woohoo, like, dude, I'm peeing. And the baby has decided to wake up. Right, please go. Don't do that, go and watch some TV. She's going to bed. Everyone's tired. Well, Ren's tired, but she's worse in this department, so I'll make her a bit more entertained before I make her go to sleep. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, I really hope... Okay, these guys are getting loud. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this part of my current household. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.